Good morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen. The Monetary Board uh, met yesterday to discuss the monetary policy stance for the second time in 2017. As you know, uh, there are only eight monetary policy uh, related monetary board uh, meetings from this year onwards uh, compared to the 12 the, the monthly uh, meetings that we had uh, earlier and at yesterday's uh, meeting the monetary board decided to uh, raise the policy interest rates of the central bank uh, with effect from uh, 24th of March that's uh, with effect from today uh, the Key policy interest rates were raised by 25 basis points. Now the standing deposit facility rate uh, is at 7.25%, and uh, the standing lending facility rate is at 8.75%. The statutory reserve ratio uh, remains unchanged at 7.5%. I will uh, take you through uh, the uh, factors that the board considered uh, in uh, taking this decision. If you look at economic growth, uh, we have the latest uh, uh, figures for the full year 2016 from the Department of Census and Statistics. GDP growth was 4.4% uh, uh, in real terms compared to the growth of 4.8% in 2015. If you look at the breakdown of this GDP growth, uh, the industry sector has grown by 6.7% during the full year 2016. Uh, and the services sector has grown by 4.2%. Uh, uh, the agriculture sector has recorded a contraction of 4.2%. Overall, as I said before, uh, GDP growth was 4.4%. Uh, but uh, if you look at the fourth quarter 2016 uh, closely, you can see that there has been some acceleration of uh, GDP growth uh, in the fourth quarter. Fourth quarter GDP growth was 5.3% compared to 4.6% in the previous quarter. Um, the base effect also contributed to the higher growth in 2016 fourth quarter. Uh, it is expected that in 2017, this year, uh, GDP growth would be about 5 to 5.5%. With regard to inflation, we have seen some acceleration of inflation in the month of February. Uh, both CCPI-based uh, and uh, NCPI-based uh, year-on-year inflation accelerated. CCPI-based uh, year-on-year inflation is at 6.8% uh, compared to 5.5% uh, in January 2017. And uh, NCPI-based headline inflation is at 8.2% compared to 6.5% uh, in January 2017. The, if you take the, if you think of the reasons for the recent acceleration of uh, inflation, uh, it's largely due to the impact of the prevailing drought conditions uh, and adjustments to the tax uh, structure. Uh, and uh, if you look at the projections, if you take uh, uh, the, the uh, current inflation projections into consideration, uh, it is projected that inflation would revert to the desired mid-single-digit uh, levels in the period ahead and uh, stabilize thereafter. But uh, there is a risk uh, that uh, inflation expectations could uh, disrupt the future inflation path. Um, and uh, since uh, the end of 2015, the Monetary Board has uh, gradually tightened uh, monetary policy and monetary conditions. Uh, if you remember, at the uh, end of uh, 2015, the policy rates were at 6% uh, and 7.5%, and uh, the statutory reserve ratio was at 6%. So all those rates have uh, been adjusted upwards, and market interest rates have risen substantially in, respo in response to, to those monetary policy adjustments. Uh, the Treasury bill rates, uh, have gone up uh, substantially during the uh, during uh, the year 2016 and uh, so far during the uh, during uh, 2017 also we have seen some increase in treasury bill rates uh, it's the same with uh, a number of other market interest rates if you look at uh, private sector credit uh, you see that uh, 
the private sector credit growth has decelerated uh, further to 20.9% in January 2017, this year on year, compared to 21.9% at the end of 2016. Uh, at the peak, uh, there was, uh, we saw uh, private sector credit uh, growing at 28.5%, so compared to that peak, this is a substantial deceleration. Um, with regard to broad money growth, uh, in spite of the deceleration of private sector credit uh, growth, broad money growth has remained uh, high, 17.7% in January 2017. Uh, this is also a deceleration compared to 18.4% growth that we saw in December 2016. Uh, in addition to private sector credit growth, uh, increased credit to the public sector also contributed to the high money growth. Um, but uh, overall, the deceleration in monetary and credit aggregates uh, has been slower than expected. Uh, when you look at international trade, the trade deficit during the full year 2016 uh, has been US dollars 9.1 billion, that's compared to US dollars 8.4 billion in 2015. During the full year 2016, uh, expenditure on imports increased by 2.5%, uh, and there was a contraction in uh, earnings from exports by 2.2%. In January 2017 also, this trend has continued. Uh, uh, expenditure on imports uh, has increased by 13.2% in January 2017 year on year. Uh, earnings from exports uh, have contracted by 1.1% in January 2017, again year-on-year. Year. Um, with regard to tourism and workers' remittances, we have seen uh, a marginal uh, decline in tourist arrivals during the month of uh, February 2017, but if you take uh, the first two months of the year, uh, tourist arrivals increased by 6.4%. Uh, and uh, earnings from tourism also uh, amounted to about US dollars 715 million during the first two months of the year. During the full year 2016, uh, we have earned uh, US dollars 3.6 billion through tourism. With regard to workers' remittances, in January 2017, workers' remittances increased by 1.4% uh, to US dollars 572 uh, million. And during the full year 2016, workers' remittances uh, have increased by 3.7% uh, to, to US dollars 7.2 billion. Um, this slide is on global developments and the impact on Sri Lanka. Uh, we know that the U.S. Federal Reserve tightened, uh, 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 raised their policy interest rates uh, in March. That was the second time in the last uh, three months and the third time in the past f 15 uh, months. Uh, so global interest rates have been rising. Um, and we saw some outflows of foreign investments from the government securities market uh, in early 2017, but that trend has uh, subsided. And uh, in the month of March 2017, we have seen some marginal inflows to the government securities market. With regard to uh, gross official reserves and exchange uh, rate movements, uh, uh, reserves were estimated at US dollars 5.6 billion at end uh, at uh, end February 2017. That's compared to US dollars 6 billion at uh, the end of last year. And the Sri Lanka rupee has depreciated by 1.2 percent against the US dollar during the year, uh, up to 22nd of March. That is, uh, and. Uh, the Sri Lanka rupee so far during the year has depreciated against most of the international currencies. Uh, so the monetary board considered these developments and uh, the monetary board was of the view that further tightening of the, of the monetary policy stance was necessary as a precautionary measure. This was basically to contain uh, the buildup of adverse inflation expectations and the possible acceleration of demand side inflationary pressures uh, that could occur through uh, excessive monetary and credit expansion. The monetary board also took into consideration the notable improvements in the fiscal uh, sector, uh, and uh, it looks like uh, 
in 2016, the overall budget deficit target uh, has been achieved. Uh, uh, the monetary board considered the improvements in the fiscal sector and also the substantial upward uh, movement uh, already observed in market interest rates. Uh, and the board uh, was of the view that, that uh, those improvements, uh, those developments, uh, have reduced the required adjustment in policy interest rates. And accordingly, the key policy interest rates of the central bank, as I said before, were raised by 25 basis points with effect from uh, today. Uh, the standing deposit facility rate from 7% to 7.25%, and the standing lending facility rate from 8.5% to 8.75%. Thank you very much.